Hello and welcome to Team Six's International Market Feasible Study in collaboration with Silver Airways. This presentation will include an executive summary, an economic country and market analysis, as well as a proposed strategy to why Silver Airways needs to fly to Jamaica. Considering market prospects for Silver Airways, we must consider the barriers to entry. The most important barriers for Silver Airways are competitive rivalry and buyer's power. If you look here at the graph, competitive rivalry is focused in the center with all other barriers to entry surrounding this. This is because in a typical airline industry market, the competitive rivalry would be the highest barrier to entry for an airline entering the industry. However, with Silver Airlines already in the market, the barriers to entry greatly decrease and all other barriers to entry will not significantly impact Silver Airways. Hi, I'm Elodie and I'm doing the economic analysis for the Silver Airway project. So Silver Airway would hugely benefit from entering the Jamaican airline industry, but they need to have better insight into the country's economic situation. Due to its attractive beaches, idyllic setting and cultural experiences, tourism is a big part of the Caribbean experience. Looking into the contribution that tourism contributes to air travel, the Oxford Economics asserts that as of 2009, travel and tourism were responsible for at least 1,600 million of the Jamaican economy, which makes it 12.8% of the country's GDP. In 2016, Tourism in the Caribbean accounted for 15% of the Caribbean GDP, making up the largest share of tourism in any part of the world. With a previous high record of 7% and 5% in the previous two years, employment rates, especially for females, capital projects, and Caribbean visitor exports spiked. The Jamaican market has been struggling since the onset of the global pandemic. Due to the country's heavy reliance on tourism and the travel restrictions that followed, things slowed down considerably in the last few years. Jamaica's real GDP was affected in 2020, experiencing a decrease of 9%, while the hotels and restaurants were affected by at least 30%. These figures affected the developments the country has set up toward poverty reduction in the country. The good news... However, is that Jamaica will always rely on the tourism sector to meet its developmental logistics, which is a strategic part of the country's planning. It is currently underway to grow its transport and telecommunication network and expand the Panama Canal. The government is underway to increase and create an integrated infrastructure that will cover air, sea, road, and other transport sectors that will reflect positively on the economic sector. With such developments underway, Jamaica is set to receive more than 22,600 international flights annually that will visit over 41 airports in 16 different countries. The aviation industry has significantly impacted the Caribbean area, contributing to 1.4% of the area's GDP and over 112,000 job generations. The aviation industry has also proven to have a catalytic effect on the tourism the area enjoys adding on additional $12.6 billion and 845,000 jobs. So to summarize, as the country continues to recover from the pandemic, Silver Airways would benefit significantly from setting up in Jamaica based on the promising state of affairs that has been and the prospects of improvement in the years to come. The population of Jamaica has reached nearly 3 million with close to 600,000 living off the southeast coast in the capital, Kingston, alone. Montego Bay, also known as Jamaica's second city, is a very popular tourist attraction made up of vast beaches, golf courses. It also has a major ship port and over 82,000 living in the city. Destinations such as Montego Bay and Kingston, Jamaica are already being flown to by our code share partners such as United, 
American Airlines, Delta, JetBlue. Natural hazards in the area consist mainly of hurricanes, tropical storms, and flooding. Hurricane season takes place between July and November. Jamaica's population, infrastructure, and economic assets remain exposed to this extreme weather, which is said to become more intense and frequent in the future due to climate change. Jamaica is located 600 miles south of Miami, Florida, and can be flown to from Miami in under two hours nonstop. Half of the island is 1,000 feet above sea level and is used for agriculture. The Jamaican economy is projected to grow an average of 4.1% by 2024. This expansion is mainly directed by services such as hotels, restaurants, transport, storage, communication, as well as tourist activities. These activities were severely affected by the pandemic, but have come back in full force and are generating 70% of the island's GDP. International flights are projected to include over 22,600 that visit the island from 16 different countries. Some concerns about entering the Jamaican market have come to the forefront, but mostly pertain to climate, and crime. According to the U.S. Department of Commercial International Trade Administration, crime and corruption remain a deep concern. Court cases sometimes take years due to a slow judicial system, but efforts have been put in place to catch up with international best practices. The government in Jamaica has issued an integrative resource plan that proposed over a 1.5 gigawatt of new generation capacity by 2037. Renewable energy, which accounts for almost 80% of new capacity with 400 megawatts implemented by 2024, making it sort of a green island, so to speak. Jamaica has reduced its dependency on petroleum, but this has resulted in high electricity costs. Work permits are sometimes hard to obtain by foreign workers due to local efforts to recruit people that work locally. Strategic Proposal Silver Airways In 2018, Florida-based Silver Airways purchased Seaborne Airlines based in Puerto Rico, leading to more flight options and travel destinations. With this purchase, Silver Airways has been able to attract new customers and offer new travel routes. Below, we will analyze the SWOT analysis table, and we will talk about the acceleration of growth and what we are determining to be the new route for Silver Airways that generate new revenue. The acceleration of growth plan includes Saab 340 operations in the Caribbean and expanding to new passenger and cargo markets, accelerating the growth of the ATR fleet. In 2022, Silver intends to hire up to 200 pilots. Silver Airways has reestablished its 2018 launch Emerging Aviator program, which includes multiple entry points specifically designed to cultivate a meaningful relationship with each pilot candidate before joining the airline as a first officer to accelerate the acquisition of pilots in 2022 and beyond. The pilot can begin the first entry point known as the quote-unquote initial approach as soon as they have completed 250 hours of flight time and have obtain a commercial pilot certificate and an instrument rating. Moving the training of pilots from an outsource to being able to train the pilot through Silver Airways will generate much needed revenue for Silver Airways. Our goal is to make owning a chartering, a jet, an easy, cost-effective, and positive experience. When you choose Silver as your aviation partner, you'll have the most dedicated, influential, and honest people in aviation on your team. The vision statement is to be known as the most reliable, affordable, and profitable regional airline. Core values include purpose and growth, client focus, integrity, leadership, professionalism, excellence, community service, and fun. Overall, have a positive outlook and attitude when marketing. In our SWOT analysis, we determined that the strengths are Silver Airways announced on August 1st, 2018, that they would purchase the 50 brand new ATR 600 series aircraft to improve their, their fleet. They ensured that customers receive modernized services on flights that are significantly more comfortable and cost less by upgrading newer aircraft. Silver Airways can move more luggage seamlessly between connecting flights by offering code share with significant airlines. This is also a strength because we consider since there are code shares already, it would be easy to do flights to Jamaica even if we had to do a one-stop way flight. Weaknesses, unfortunately, Silver Airways has received numerous complaints about the poor service and the potential to turn away customers. The Better Business Bureau's 
give Silver Airways a rating of one star out of five. Smaller airlines are less well known outside of their region due to the limited flight options and smaller jets. Many customers do not know Silver Airways outside of the Caribbean and Florida. Outside of that region, there are only two flight options, Boston, Massachusetts, Bar Harbor, Maine, and only during the summer. The future business might suffer from these restricted territories. And this is the reason why we would want to expand the routes to other areas in the Caribbean. For opportunities, we think that there's a great way to attract new customers who want to enjoy the brand new aircraft that has been purchased. And we think that the the charging ports and internet connectivity is also a positive aspect for Silver Airways. The Seaborne offers flights into smaller islands that can't be reached any other way. So that is also a positive thing for Silver Airways. For the threats, hurricane season probably poses the greatest threat. This occurs annually and can be highly damaging to both airports and popular tourist destinations to draw business. So in determining our strategy and the route visibility, we're going to identify the route for this project. We determined it's Jamaica, and we would anticipate that there's an enormous number of routes that could be investigated as potential new additions as well um, after we pilot Jamaica. The identified route could have one or more of the following characteristics, capacity underserved during one or more of the seasons that has potential demand growth, fits in the airline's network structure and business model, fleet compatibility, they have the potential to simulate the new demand, may attract market from nearby major airports, if any have cargo revenue, it's cost effective and have a premium yield. We identified the demand. The second step that we're going to do is to determine how the new proposed routes generate demand. And so for this, we've generated between the city pairs of routes that serve as point-to-point routes. The order on the way for hub and spoke airlines includes a request to and from the hub, which is local demand, and from other various destinations. The airline serves outside of the seat, like connecting need. In identifying the volume, the subsequent related task is to predict the size of each source of demand generation, predicting the number of passengers or, or cargo in each city pair that could be driving the demand of the proposed route is the goal of this task. To put it in another way, our prediction applies to the city that pairs to generate the connection demand, if there's any, and the city that pairs to create the local market. Regardless of the mode of transportation, this demand is always estimated, because we can't pinpoint exact number, and it includes how much people have traveled in the city in the past and how that demand grows depending on seasons. So we are considering doing the route based on a potential seasons and not as a year-round service or route. And we We've uh, also had to identify the competition. So for Silver has a long history of working with various airlines. One recent strategic initiative was expanding Silver Airways co-chair relationship with United Airlines to include all Caribbean market and additional Southeastern United States routes. The airline gains access to further uh, United bookings because of this. So that is has been a positive aspect for Silver Airways. And lastly, to mention the several brands in the market that are competitors of Silver Airways, but have also co chairs are United Airlines, JetBlue Airways, Delta Airlines, and Southwest Airlines. So several major airlines have co-chair agreements with Silver Airways, like, like all the ones mentioned, including Avianca and Copa, which feed to the Latin American regions. Additionally, there's also agreements with Emirates, Air Canada, Alaska Airlines, ANA, Azul, Bahamas Air, and others. So this this connectivity and this co-chair, we hope that will help us in strategizing our new routes to Jamaica. And that will conclude Team 6's interview international market feasible study in collaboration with Silver Airwaves with our proposal that Silver Airwaves considers flying to Jamaica. Kingston, Monaco Bay, we're coming your way. Silver Airwaves, Team 6, thank you.